excuse me, along the way of Ben Roethlisberger en route to his Hall of Fame career, one of the primary reasons he's going to be there is because of A.B. Now, I am not in any way absolving A.B. from how he conducted himself that last week of the season. You got to show up to work. There is no excuse for that. Correct. So we're not, we're not even debating that. There's no debate here. But don't tell me that you got to sit up there and be one of those receivers that everybody hug and sing mm. kubaya with one another and you got to be a choir boy or whatever. Every single season, there are diva receivers everywhere. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. When you said Ben Roethlisberger needs to be at the table, what my question was going to be to you was this. What role is he going to play? Mm -hmm. Is he going to be listening? Is he going to accept culpability? Is somebody going to sit up there, Max, Brandon, Molly, and say, yo, we understand you the quarterback. We understand you the future Hall of Famer. We appreciate it. You showed up to work. And so we're not sitting there and blaming you per se, but you're not completely absolved from blame in we're all the of this. We're the receiver so, Super Bowl so, so, winners. Uh, and that's exactly. my point. And that's what I mean by when I'm not, I'm not talking about winning the regular season. I'm talking about winning the Max, Super Bowl. Max, the I was ultimate. thinking the same thing. That's what I mean. And, 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 hold on. Let me say this about A.B. because I didn't say this, right? I love A.B.'s game. Mm -hmm. You can win with A.B., but we all need to be on the same page. So what I mean, hold on, let me say this. We dispute that. A, when, the reason why I said we need to sit at the table is because there's a lot that we don't know. We're sitting up here and we're trying to judge the Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger, A.B. Well, but I'm we saying, don't know what A.B. went through. But I'm saying if you're going to call Big Ben Roethlisberger to that table, it can't be 100%. like he's an authoritative figure. And oh, no, man, Antonio no, Brown, big, you're big, at fault. Big ben needs to be, let me tell you why Big Ben needs to be there. Because what we have seen, especially this year, we have seen his leadership. Mm -hmm. on the forefront. And a lot of people don't really like the way he approached things, right? He's called some people out. He should have caught that ball. Lazy on I tried to call him. I just, it just didn't work. Or A.B., I caught him several times. You don't need that. You I don't need to do that. I was listening to you and Max. Wait, I, I got I two questions. I got one hold for on. you and one for you. I'm just going to throw it to you. And that's why I'm going to leave it alone. You, Ben Roethlisberger, did say, and again, I'm coming to Max. Ben Roethlisberger did say, one well, I think it was Denver, I'd have thrown the ball to Juju Smith-Schuster every down. That's not smart. That's and in terms of you, Correct. you just asked me the question about the diva receiver. Are you not the one that religiously applauds the greatness of T.O. and how it, Philadelphia would have won that Super Bowl? Because yep. on one leg, he still yeah. out, was sure. the best player on the field. Sure. How's so it work for the win. Giants? I mean, they didn't receiver. win that well, game. They, but, but it's hard to find examples where it has worked. I'm not saying it can't work. Go ahead. There may be an easier way. The look, problem look, is – Hold on, Brandon. Hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Um, this Steelers group had incredible triplets, right, with Ben Roethlisberger, future Hall of Famer, Antonio Brown having the best statistical career since probably Jerry Rice consistently, certainly Randy Moss, but probably Jerry Rice, and Le'Veon Bell, who was the best uh, back in the game, and maybe the most important non-quarterback offensive player to an offense in several years, right? They didn't win anything with that group. Now, this is why they should move on from Antonio Brown, as great as he is. Number one, he's expensive. Number two... A good part of his prime has a already. A good receiver is expensive. Yeah, a good part we of his prime. a lot of money. That's right. A good part of and his headaches. prime has already. <laughs> a good part of his prime has already taken place, and he's expensive. Now, if you didn't have another number, a legit number one elite wideout, you you got to hold on to Antonio Brown. Juju Smith Schuster is an the, elite number one wideout. That's the problem with, with, with that's what the, that's the problem with that thinking is when you have a a dog on the front side, a number one receiver. What happens on the back end? Juju what happens, Smith, to, what happens to the rest of the offense? With, with, with when you have a guy Antonio like Brown. Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, it opens up the offense well, Brandon, for everyone well, else. Brandon, time out. Hold, hold, hold. Let me just with the Jets. Brandon, Brandon. I played. We had a great year. Eric Decker had one of his best years right. statistically. No, no, but he's Why not is Eric that? Decker. Because he's when, not when, Eric Decker. When, when Antonio Brown is getting doubled, you're one-on-one -on -one with the number Brandon. two, number three cornerback. Brandon, you're making, you're single you're coverage making a all point that is true, but you're trying to apply it to the wrong dude. Yes, that's often the case. The eyeball test tells you what you need to know about Juju Smith-Schuster. This is not just yeah, a but, normal but you have to benefiting judge from an what, elite this guy. Is, guy. This, this is, is a different guy. This is the test. When A.B. is not there, what will he do when now he's, when he's seeing He'll ball. the number one corner week in and week out? Your gut. When What's he's your seeing gut tell you? is double he Eric coverage. Decker? Is he Eric Well, what I meant by that is – Who's a I, solid guy? And that's why I said you, th that was my point with you can't win with uh, – uh, a number one receiver this is what who's malcontent. Hold on. The guy that I was for several years. And the reason why is because it breaks down the integrity of the offense from top to right. bottom. And the reason why is because you have guys that call for the ball, okay? 
And what that does is it messes with the offensive coordinator, like I, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. and it messes with the quarterback. So, Brandon, right. what I'm saying is I agree with that. So, since you got a number one guy who I think the eyeball test, like on a lie detector, most football people tell you, yeah, Juju Smith-Schuster is a baller. Like, regardless of where he is, that dude's a baller. He's a number one. James Conner's not Le'Veon Bell, but is he good enough to be your running back? Yeah. And you can get who man, who who you can get that up. Who opens that up? Antonio Brown I've opens that up. This is what I got a question what? for you. That opens a, it hold up. on, Brandon. That opens hold it up. Hold on, hold on. I got this. Here's my question to you, Max Kellerman. How many times have you talked to our audience and you've told them that Ben Roethlisberger is second tier, not necessarily elite? So with that in mind, wouldn't two number ones be more helpful? The thing about the NFL is in a vacuum, you're right. If there's no cap, if there's nothing like that, you're right. But because there's a hard cap in this league, pricing talent uh, accurately right. and not having too much redundancy is important. Max, so if respect, you have holes in different apply. places of your team, that you're apply. better off having that one that number one. The reason doesn't apply even. because we're talking about two guys that are teammates now that are effective, that, by the way, can make things happen. Now, if you're talking about acquiring them, I get you. But the numbers that they have right now that they've accumulated, they both are validated. They're both Here's already on the roster. Look. In terms of what the Steelers had, the right guy to hold on to at that moment was Le'Veon Bell. That ship has sailed. This is a new situation. Antonio Brown, given the where things are, what they already have, and what they could flip them for, you better right. Here's my thing. Here's my, let me, let me end with this. Let me end with this. On. Number one, they need to figure it out because he's too good of a receiver, and he makes everything goes. Right? Le'Veon Bell, once in a lifetime running back, okay? But Antonio Brown is getting double coverage. What do you get? You get you get bigger holes and you get one-on-one -on -one backside play after play after play. They need to figure it out. 